हेलो एवरी वन आई एम वेलकमिंग यू ऑल वन सेकेंड टू दिस चैनल सो टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू मेक ए वीडियो ऑन हाउ टू प्लॉट दिस टोटल डेंसिटी और इलेक्ट्रोस्टैटिक पोटेंशियल मैप्स यूजिंग आवर गॉसप्यू सॉफ्टवेयर फ्रॉम एनी गॉस एन आउटपुट फाइल सो दैट वी विल सी टूडे सो फॉर दिस हियर आई एम गोइंग टू ओपन वन फाइल that i have already optimized earlier so here i have taken this napf6 molecule and i am opening the checkpoint files of that and so uh, here this uh, checkpoint file i have opened now you can go to this result and here is an option for surface or contours so i am clicking on here and there is a option like cube action so here i will click on this new cube and instead of molecular orbital because in this we we can plot homo or lumo levels but we are, we want to see the total density so here i am clicking on the total density then click on okay so one line will be appear over here let's wait for that line yeah this line is now appeared now in the surface action we can go to this new map surface and there is a option like esp so this will generate the surface points and all for all of us so uh, here i am clicking on okay and now you can see that this mapped surface is now appearing although it is very very transparent but that transparency we can control using our view from here you can go to display format and in the display format there is a option called surface and here you can change this value of transparency so i am going ahead you see the changes in the molecule and as we are going from of transparent to opaque so this value is coming like this and also one thing here to notice that this side like where the sodium is present is showing that this is more positive as you can see this blue color uh, range is more positive and this red color range is more negative and this way you can see how the charges are distributed and all and uh, also for the charge distribution you can do this molecule kind of analysis so here the option is uh, called charge distribution so if i will click on so numbers then you can see that which atom has more positive and which atom has more negative uh, charges this way you can see that whether our esp map is giving us the correct result or not okay so this way we can verify and i hope you all are understanding this and this much for today session and thank you all